What's up, guys? Hey, Another everybody. episode. Brittany and Brad. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is episode three. Uh, today is kind of special to me because it's my favorite brewery. Um, you guys already know my favorite brewery is New Belgium. It's in Fort Collins, uh, where we live, from the first video. Oh. Okay, well, we shared a little <laughs> bit of his love for New Belgium in the beginning, but we're probably going to hear more of it, so oh, stay yeah. tuned. But we have uh, beer New Belgium three. beer right now. Yep, beer number three. It is the triple from New Belgium. Um, it's a Belgian style ale, a uh, really crisp taste. Uh, we'll kind of go over some of that, but I've had plenty of these. So. I don't know if I've ever tried it, so why not a better time than right now? Let me do, do the, honors. the honors. We need a bottle top this time. I love when it like, you know, makes that. It's my favorite. Sealed with fresh. Yes. All right. I'll let you do the first sip since you like it so much. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> it's very, very clean tasting. Uh, I would say as far as hoppy goes, this is gonna be probably like a four out of 10 as far as hops go. Very, very clean and rich taste though. Crisp, yeah. I've had other Belgium style ales and I definitely, this is definitely one of them for sure. Smooth, not too hoppy. Yep, it kind of has very like crisp. a really distinct taste too. Like like the mm -hmm. aftertaste is very very distinct. Yeah, I don't know if it's like fruity kind of, but like going down, it's like smooth. Very smooth, not very hoppy, and then like once I, it's like past my throat, it's like fruity. I don't know. It's interesting. I definitely don't mind it. It's good. Yep, 8%, uh, 8 percent, 8.5 percent alcohol in this, so it is a little higher. Um, so be responsible. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> I'm always responsible. You've drank so. how many of these before? <laughs> uh, I drink like three or four when I do drink them, but nothing too crazy. Okay. It is a very, very clean tasting beer, though. I like it. As you see, we kind of switched up our location today. So we decided to go to a park here in Fort Collins instead of shooting out of the home. Switching things up, you know? Keeping yeah, things we'll fresh. Probably be, we'll probably be doing that quite a bit uh, from now on, especially with some hikes and stuff like that. <clears throat> we definitely want to get some good views for you guys as well as not just beer reviews. We want to have some reviews for some hikes, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I know there's a lot of people that don't live around here and a lot of people do worry about, or not worry, they think about what kind of hikes and stuff like that that we have. Uh, there's a lot of intermediate, there's a lot of hard ones, there's a lot of easy ones. I mean, there's a ton of hikes in Colorado. And we, we love them all and oh yeah. we're going to do them all, so we're try to. She's the one that got me into hiking, actually. I lived out here for a couple of years and I didn't even do a hike by myself so, until we met. So, a lot of firsts. So, Alright, well that's a wrap, guys. I would say this is probably Give you another a 7 and a half out of 10 on my my scale. You like it that much? Oh yeah, very good beer. Um, for me, it's a solid beer. It definitely wouldn't be a beer that I would go to like on a regular basis. Maybe once in a while, switching it up, it'd be a solid beer to go to. But um, I'm probably gonna stick it at like a six point three. To be honest, it's good, but I don't know. <laughs> Not something that I would buy every day and drink every day. It's a good once in a while, switch things up kind of beer for sure. Absolutely. All right, that's a wrap, guys. Have a good weekend. Cheers. <laughs>